All right, uh, greetings, family. This is Bomani Tayemba, and welcome to our Africa Tour conference call for uh, Senegal, the Gambia, Ghana, and Tanzania. Uh, so those are the four countries that we will be talking about tonight as far as the schedule. But the main focus is on our next journey of a lifetime, which is Senegal and the Gambia, and that's uh, April 2nd to the 12th. So for those uh, who are not clear on things, what we're going to do uh, is go through the full schedule and the full tour overview. Right to the point, I'm going to go to our website, Africa for the Africans.org. And once I get to the website, I go down to the main menu and click on Senegal and the Gambia Roots Tour, April 2021. Right? And as all of our tours, tours are laid out on the website, uh, this is just a content based situation to give you schedules and details. Um, we do have a lot of pictures at the top from all of our journeys from 2004 all the way to uh, 2020. I actually say 2006, but uh, there's also a few older pictures there. But that's our 14 years of our journeys uh, to Africa. And the main detail is to just make sure that everyone is clear on everything. Um, I'm always having issues with people not being clear on schedule, but I have it right here laid out, uh, written. And also I'll work on a digital and a printed tour book with the schedule and other things in it. Uh, that way you can just, you know, it's like a nice little preparation guide. So as far as uh, the uh, journeys, um, we cover the tour overview, itinerary, general terms, the visa, improving your immune system, and departure of mind the list. Uh, so th those are the key uh, topics in all pre preparation uh, for all tours. And before I continue, um, the last two tours that we did, uh, Tanzania, November 20th, and uh, Ghana, uh, December uh, 24th. Uh, those two back-to-back -back, uh, journeys is what we have as far as highlights on the uh, website. Um, not website, but also uh, the, um, the YouTube uh, page. Uh, whenever you, you get any uh, document from us, uh, it's always give you a link to YouTube. Um, and that's just a list of this, all of our videos. They're broken up into playlists and things like that. But uh, it gives you a feel of the journey before you come. Just, just go through this uh, this a whole recording of highlights uh, from you know from once we hit the ground to all the way to when the tour ends, and that's just to give people you know ideas of what they're looking to get themselves into. So everything is based around us giving you an idea of what we do, uh, so you're clear, and then that way you're prepared. That way we can enjoy the journey, and we don't have to you know you know don't have to be confused about uh, the schedule. So what I'm going to do is click on. Uh, Senegal and the Gambia tour April 2nd to the 12th. And then I'm going to go through the uh, itinerary. All right, so the tour overview uh, is broken up into uh, four days for Senegal and four days for the Gambia. I'm going to break down that on the uh, tour itinerary, how that exactly works. But uh, we have a change of schedule from the last time that we talked about this uh, journey. Now we have a direct flight from uh, New York JFK to Senegal, which is going to be earlier. Uh, so what I have here is uh, package one, which is the price for all of the uh, tour, including full accommodations. And then the uh, package two, where it's just the price for the uh, tour accommodations. And then the optional or additional is a single supplement. So those are the main things uh, when you're looking at these journeys to be clear on. That way you just clear on them. That way you can just move on to many other things that we have to you know, get clear and prepared for. So the tour includes a certified English speaking uh, tour guide. Uh, in this case, um, Senegal, the primary language in Senegal is uh, French. So we have a, and then the, the actual um, Senegalese language is uh, Wolof. So we have a tour guide that will uh, translate between Wolof and French depends on who he's talking with to English. Uh, so that's what we mean by certified English speaking uh, tour guide. And in the Gambia, uh, it's predominantly um, English and also uh, Wolof. So uh, in a situation, if someone is speaking Wolof, oh, uh, the tour guide would be able to translate it. So that's what we have as best as we can do to make sure that everybody can communicate. And then the hotels that we're going to are international hotels where, uh, you know, people speak the language that uh, you're speaking. So 
just want to make sure that everyone know that you know you, we don't have to deal with the uh, language barrier and things like that. It's uh, something that's worked out when we have a tour guide set up and other people that we have working with us on the journey. The tour includes our round trip bus uh, from Senegal to the Gambia. So after we do our four days uh, in Senegal, we just go to the Gambia for four days and then turn back around and head directly to the airport. All right. So transportation and tours throughout uh, Senegal and Gambia, daily continental breakfast at the hotel and gourmet dinner, uh, sometime at the hotel and then there'll be a few times out. Uh, so we'll work that out and it's just based on group size. All right. So four star hotel occupation in Senegal, dub double occupancy, All right. beach resort in Senegal and the Gambia. So uh, the beach resort is actually in the Gambia. Uh, I know that uh, everything is double occupancy, uh, two people to a room. So if you want a room by yourself, then you have to um, uh, pay for single supplement or make arrangements. We don't really have a quote unquote business and investment conference, but that's the direction and that's also something that's not finalized. Uh, daily exercise and meditation session is based on volunteers. So looking for those in the group who wants to get up early and, and you know, and other people who want to join them can just or free spirit just be out there just encouraging this you know, those health and wellness things like exercise and meditation in the morning. And uh, what's not included in the package is our uh, lunch. Uh, so during lunch we'll do our best to find somewhere where you can order lunch and we'll always try to work something out where we can order lunch ahead of time. And then group tips. Uh, group tips is what we put together with uh, other money uh, to also just spread out tips for uh, entertainment, people logistically moving us around, hotel um, uh, staff members and uh, so on. And uh, as far as uh, other things that's not included, if you go somewhere and there's a camcorder camera fee, I never know how those things work, uh, then that's on you. So, uh, and then you know, nightlife and things like that. So uh, it's uh, the core things are all included that way you just get those out the way and when you get there just you know, budget for shopping and things like that. All right, so always advising that everyone uh, just honestly just look through all the details and be clear on it. Um, try to just put things as clear and right as possible. And even though we go over it, it's just always good just to print things out, look at it, and just be clear on it. So the list of things that uh, we have uh, for the four days in Senegal, I go through the four days again, and these are just all included. So uh, whatever entrance fee and so on, all included. Uh, Tor Gori Island and the African Holocaust Dungeon uh, Museum in Senegal. And these are not exactly, honestly, in, in order, but these are just a list of things that we're going to do throughout the three actual days when we're out there um, you know, doing a tour. Uh, so looking to organize some level of business conference and networking, uh, markets, um, uh, view or drive uh, through up the uh, Grand uh, Mosque, uh, Sheikh Antadiop uh, Museum, National Assembly, uh, the Palace of the President, Independence Square. Uh, the biggest one that we have is the La Renaissance African Monument uh, for a walking tour, but also um, uh, there's also a museum tour. And this statue is like, I'm still trying to picture how I'm going to just like uh, take a picture of the statue or just record the whole thing. But uh, the statue is used, and uh, the goal is to go to the museum inside. I don't know if I'll be able to record, but that's another thing also. But I uh, you know, want to make sure that we have some nice uh, cultural and historical things. Uh, we have the Pink Lake Tour on 4x4, uh, Fulani Village. Uh, for those who want to shop, there's a whole lot of shopping. Uh, and we can just get us a nice little you know, boat cruise and you know, nightlife and things like that. So we've got a nice little layout uh, and just like our Tanzania journey, looking to like honestly just record all of it. That way we can just be clear on everything that we did and also just replicate and make some adjustments. All right, and so um, let me get the hotel. So the hotel that we stay in at is uh, in Dakar and that's from April 3rd to the 6th, uh, four full days and we get there early in the morning. All right, and I can never pronounce this name honestly, uh, but uh, it's uh, Le. Diambor Hotel in uh, Dakar, Senegal. Right. And then we have a resort in Baku, uh, Bakau, uh, in the Gambia. Uh, so uh, outside of Senegal, Gori Island, uh, what we have also in this route uh, tour is the Gambia. So um, very historical tour and, and, and good shopping also, but uh, mo mostly uh, historical.
Uh, so the full city tour of uh, Banjul, which is the capital uh, city tour, includes uh, various markets, walk down the Golden Beach, so Gambia, there's always beautiful beaches. Visit uh, Bacau tourist uh, market shops, wood carvings, uh, the Gambia National Museum, uh, more shopping. And the main thing that we have uh, while we're there in the Gambia is the tour of James Island uh, to learn about the African Holocaust uh, and also the tour of Jufri, home of Kunta Kente of, of Alexei Lirut. The little thing that we have heard historically, we'll be able to just go to the location, get documentation, connect with the roots and culture, and just enjoy just a nice little getaway and a nice culture getaway. So looking forward to this uh, wonderful Senegal and Gambia journey. But let me just uh, actually just go to the actual itinerary. And also, um, uh, kind of tenor, and other uh, things to be clear on is the visa. So, with a visa, the best thing to do is if you ha if you're coming on a journey and you haven't um, you haven't communicated or you didn't receive a visa email, let me know as soon as possible by email. And let me know that you need a visa email, and I'll send you the visa email, which has the application and all of the full process. And then, if you need anything um, or something's not clear, uh, just send a quick email. Or just call and we'll just go through it. Uh, so those, you know, the email is one of the things is we just make sure that anything that we can think of um, or anything that you may need, we just put it right here in that email. So it's one of those things where I don't want to go through too much of, but also the visa information is on the uh, website here. Uh, so all of it, just to let everyone know that uh, if you come in with us on a journey, you have to have a visa unless you're a West African citizen. Uh, so for those who have um, and like a Ghanaian citizens uh, ship and it's an ECOWAS passport, then you'll be able to uh, go to the, you know, go to out of Gambia. Other than that, for those who are American citizens, and that's primarily what I'm talking about, for those who have American passports, you have to make sure that you're clear about the uh, visa. Let's see uh, if anybody needs any help. The goal is to just to go through all of this and get it done. Uh, we did the same thing in uh, Tanzania, Ghana, and now here in uh, the Gambia. And as far as Senegal, for American citizens, uh, do not require a visa. As far as if you're a citizen of somewhere else, honestly, it's up to you to be clear on that. I just want to make sure that we do uh, self-accountability because there's a lot of things that we are provided and make sure that it's clear. But also, you know, you want to make sure you're clear on vaccination, COVID. Uh, does any of those things, it's up to the in individual to be clear on. And what we do is we'll do our best when we do a uh, group conference um, specifically for that, for this specific group or video calls with us or in the evening, the group WhatsApp will just communicate about all these uh, different things. And actually, those are the best times to actually bring any things up um, that's, you know, that you may need for the trip in this bill of conversation. And so with, uh, with that, we'll cover the schedule and cover all the need to know and everything be prepared. So it's a, you know, it's a sequence of going through the same thing over and over, but um, uh, just trying to just go through the documentation. So what I want to do is just, uh, go through this quick from day one schedule all the way to the end of the schedule. All right, so day one, Friday, April 2nd, we're going to depart here from Atlanta and the goal, and we're going to connect to New York. And all flights that are arranged from wherever you are, the goal is to connect you to make sure that you are there in New York City and you can uh, you arrive um, to where you can meet, do the meet and greet at 5.30 uh, with us. Um, and then we'll all leave together at 7.30 on a direct flight to the Car Senegal and Delta Airlines. So we leave at 7.30 in the evening and we get there at 7.05 April 3rd, uh, that's Saturday. So that's the difference between us flying from here to Paris or to Amsterdam. You, you have literally have saved like 12 hours. Flights are usually about, about eight, nine hours and then you usually have a layover about three, four hours. So that's the big difference. So now we'll be able to just be in Senegal and just you know, kind of relax, do orientation, go out and have lunch, talk, connect, and uh, get ready for evening dinner and then start the schedule the next day. All right, so day three, um, uh, Sunday, nice peaceful day uh, to just leave early in the morning and go do the 20-minute uh, ferry boat ride to Gory Island. And then um, once we do that historical tour of Gory Island and learn about the African Holocaust, now we'll be able to just head back and have uh, uh, dinner uh, wherever we decide to have dinner, and then uh, just uh, overnight at the same hotel, and which is where we're going to be staying the whole time in Senegal. 
so day two is um, a full uh, a city tour um, and along with uh, business networking, which uh, our goal is to actually work that out. Same thing also. So it's a flexible schedule where we don't want to just finalize a bunch of things. So dinner, uh, we're going to either work out there at a hotel or out. Uh, if we have a business conference and everything is organized like that, then we um, may have to work that out at the hotel. Or we're going to pick um, out of both places. Um, you know, may just work it out to where we can eat at the hotel two times for convenience and purpose like that, and also two times out uh, somewhere where we, you know, we can just get the driver to just take us out. But don't want the driver to be out every night like that. So uh, it's um, something I work with with the last uh, two countries we went to um, uh, Tanzania. Uh, and also uh, South Africa, even when we did um, uh, Brazil, it was more uh, eaten out. But uh, when this works out now to where all of us uh, just, just create flexible options and things like that. So that's what I like to do with uh, these uh, new schedule. Also, day five, Tuesday, April 6th, uh, Pink Lake and shopping at these. So that is our full uh, schedule right there in, um, you know, in uh, Senegal. That's uh, three days out. And the good thing is the first day we get there, you know, it's, uh, we have a nice fresh day to just relax, which sometimes we just get there and hit the ground running. But after we finish there in Senegal, we're going to uh, depart early uh, day six, Wednesday, April 7th uh, to Senegal. So this is where everybody needs to make sure that they clear and have their visa. And uh, unless there's a situation where we work it out ahead of time, we'll make sure that we figure out what, what are the uh, health uh, situation, COVID, uh, testing, or anything like that. Um, literally, honestly, closer. So we're going to you know, plan to just make sure that our tour guide clears everything up for us. That way, any paperwork we need to fill out and things like that, we just get that ahead of time. And that way, when we get there, we can just make a smooth you know, way through um, uh, the borders. So that is about a full five-hour ride to get from hotel to hotel. And I have the link down there for the Ocean Bay Hotel. You can check it out. So make sure that we have something nice and relaxed there to just kick back and just enjoy paradise, enjoy the black sand beaches of the Gambia. And um, we're just going to end it out. Uh, one day is a city tour, uh, which is uh, day seven Thursday, and day eight Friday is just uh, Jufri and also um, uh, James Island. Uh, so that's the whole uh, setup for uh, African Holocaust on that day. And uh, day day nine uh, Saturday, we just have we just literally just have a, just a free or just open day to where you can just relax, you can do more shopping, or you can just you know make other plans. And then Sunday uh, uh, day ten, we're gonna actually just leave once we check out around twelve one o'clock, and we're gonna just head to Senegal, and then we make it to the uh, the restaurant uh, where we're meeting up at um, a little early, but uh, that's all fine. And once we just have a nice little farewell dinner, we're going to just you know, depart to the airport, which will be very close. And uh, then we just all get our direct flight um, to New York, and then from New York we just connect to wherever we're going. So that is all set up for us uh, to uh, enjoy that full uh, four days in Senegal and four days in Gambia. Yeah, we're staying in those two hotels, uh, four days in Senegal and four days in Gambia. Outside of that, what we have is uh, Ghana, May 24th to June 5th, and that's a full 10-day journey to Ghana, and that includes a uh, business conference, citizenship conference, and also a Black Star Pan-African community, which is our future community investment for those of us that are looking to this, you know, position themselves in Africa to live and do business and just put their resources along with others for, you know, for black power economic development. And a way for, you know, for us to just live in our African continent and have a smoother way to connect in and have a whole lot of people just, you know, as far as this additional support and people who just got your back and going to look out for you and make it to where you can just enjoy paradise. So that's what we have on this uh, banner of Africa for that was an investment. And then in November, Tanzania, our Roots and Culture Tour, November 2021. So made a nice little schedule for that journey for us 
to do four days in Arusha, three days in Zanzibar Island, and two days in Dar es Salaam, and a nice smooth little uh, flow where we, you know, we're doing less movement from our last busy journey that was just fun and exciting. So for the, and for those who are looking to travel with us, uh, I have all of the Arusha and all of the Zanzibar Island videos up. I'm about to put all the rest of the final part, which is actually the second of the third, which is uh, Dar es Salaam, which is what we have now. It's the last two days. So I'm going to show you those two days that we have uh, for those who are looking to travel. That's what you'll see towards the end. Uh, a little nightlife, a little cultural museum and history whole um, fun excitement uh, during um, Tanzania just to give you know give the rest of us just a nice flexible options of places to travel and have a nice schedule organized journey where with some fun people that's going to make it educational fun and cultural and this business and economic uh, connections and things like that Senegal and Gambia April uh, 2nd uh, Ghana May 24th Tanzania, um, November 18th, and uh, those are all set to have all the full details right there on the website, and you need visa for all of them except for Senegal, so I'm going to just make sure that you're all clear, and what I'm going to do so I don't hold the line too long is open everything up for questions, but before I do that, all the website information is right there, but I do have a Facebook.com groups, or it says Senegal Gambia Tours. Uh, so the link is all in the newsletter, uh, not only the Senegal tour, but also the Senegal and the Gambia tour, but also the newsletter. And the newsletter, what I've, I've done is just put all of our links and all of the updates and everything in it uh, to you know, just show nice to the newsletter. Some of it is repetitive, but all of the updates are also in there. The YouTube page, uh, youtube.com forward slash Bomani2007. Uh, once you click on that link, it to directly to the main uh, page where you see the playlist and that's the main thing that I've been able to just create on YouTube is a playlist of all the things that we do. In this case there's a playlist for the Africa tours and uh, conference calls and interviews. Uh, there's also a playlist for all of the tours that we do so you can just click on the link that say play all and it will walk you through how long the videos take but uh, there, it's a lot of videos but you know, it's letting you know this is what we're offering so you can compare it to whatever you're comparing with because sometimes people don't share or disclose information, but we don't want nobody to be surprised. We want everybody to be clear on the schedule and let everybody know that the schedule is flexible. So if you feel like you want to chill or do something else, uh, it's up to you. The bus and the schedule is moving continuously, so it's up to you to, you know, get on with you, you know, when you're ready in. But the main thing is when we're leaving from, you know, from region to region, that's when we literally go in, so we want to make sure that everybody's on. Uh, so all that is clear with, on the schedule, and one thing that we do do is repeat ourselves uh, with the schedule, but um, want to try to do that less. Uh, so the next thing that we have uh, is the three methods of, of documentation we have. So the next method would be the WhatsApp page. So I'm hoping that everyone that's traveling with us to Senegal and Gambia is on WhatsApp. And for those who are not and need to be added to the group, or send me a message on WhatsApp or text or email or something. Because once we get closer to the journey, that's what we're operating off. Because trying to get everybody used to understand wherever we go, we're all on the same message. So if you're in Ghana, as long as you connect to the network, you can send someone else a message or call them or reach out to them. And you know, it helps with some of the communication. It's not a perfect system because uh, once you leave out the hotel or leave out of a you know, place of a restaurant or so, you're going to lose Wi-Fi connection unless you purchase the international data and things like that, um, which I always recommend that everyone that's traveling uh, just bring an unlocked phone and purchase a SIM card, uh, which is just a few bucks, and add a you know, ten twenty dollars on it, and just use the mobile uh, network there for internet usage and to use your phone as a, a hotspot. That way you can just feed it off your laptop. You can use your if you're trying to connect on the bus with your laptop or trying to connect on your tablet or something, you can use that phone as a hotspot. Uh, so those are the things that I do, and business work for me because i got to keep up with a bunch of stuff. So I, am, I'm, I, always, I always make sure those things are set up. So I want to make sure that you know everyone is clear 
of the flexible options to communicate, whether you work on a phone plan situation for international coverage, uh, it's your phone carrier, whether you bring an unlocked phone, but you don't want to solely depend on the, you know, the Wi-Fi, the hotel, and then and at restaurants, especially when we're going, you know, we're doing four-hour bus rides in Senegal and we get to the Gambia, and also from you know different parts of Ghana. All right, so the WhatsApp is that other communication. All right, so family, let me unmute everybody. All right, our Grins family, uh, the line is open. Press star six to unmute yourself. Give your name, where you're calling from, and what tour you're going on, and your question. Okay, Bomani. Hey, I can hear you gr loud and clear. Go ahead. Okay. This is Sam Cover going to uh, Senegal and Gambia. My question is, uh, do we have to have proof that we don't took the uh, the virus for the COVID-19? Uh, yes, you do have to show that as of now. As far as that, when that time comes, we definitely have to get some updates. But as of this very moment, the last two countries, Tanzania and also Ghana, that's what we have to show to get there. And also currently... Those who go into Senegal have to show that. And one thing we're going to confirm is once we leave and get ready to leave from Senegal to the Gambia, we want to, we're going to have to make sure that we're clear that we do or do not have to take a COVID test. So these things become situations where we have to check up on like, like two, three days or several days before the tour. The, we're actually moving in that direction. But it's, a, it's good to plan it out now also. So right now, uh, make sure that you're clear about where you're going to go take your COVID test and make sure you get the results the day before you travel, and that's probably the best way to put it. Okay. Uh, hmm. All right. Day before. Okay. Let me know if that's clear. Like, we're, we're departing on April 2nd. So for those right. tests, you want them to explain to the people you're taking the test that I need the results back April 1st because where I'm, wherever, where I'm going, I get there April 3rd, which is 48 hours, which is right in the middle. Okay. Yeah, that's it on my question, sir. Absolutely. I'm looking forward to meeting you. Okay. All right, cool. So if everything is clear, uh, let me uh, mute you back. All right, so everybody is muted all. Um, next person, this unmute yourself, star six. Um, name, where you're calling from, your question, and what tour you're traveling on. Bomani. Yes, uh, go ahead. Hi, this is Susan. So we're returning from um, Senegal, you said, on April the 10th? All right, let me see your schedule. April 2nd, we depart, and we return to the U.S. April 12th. April the 12th, and that's on a direct flight from New York, right? To New York, right? Yes, and that's a direct flight uh, to New York from NBS, uh, Senegal. Okay, do you know the time yet, or? Yes, it's on the schedule. Let me okay. pull the schedule up. I'll just read it. I, uh, I could look. I could look. I just wanted to know. Yeah, I have it open, and I'll uh, just, um, I, uh, yeah. Um, so what we talked about was um, all of the flight connections, will, all of the flight connections will meet and greet at 5.30 p.m. April, Friday, April 2nd, part Delta flight number DL216 at 7.30 p.m. And we get to Senegal April 3rd at 7.05 in the morning. So if you're looking to find out that you can get on that flight, you'd have to just use that exact uh, flight number schedule. Okay. Make sure that you get a nice connection and get there. I would just recommend getting there at least 5 o'clock. Oh, yeah. Maybe earlier with dealing with JFK. Yeah, and then when we return, we're actually returning Monday. Um, the flight is going to leave at uh, almost midnight, and then the flight leave at one one o'clock in the morning, and then back uh, to JFK. Uh, straight to JFK and arrives at five thirty in the morning. Because of the okay. time difference, it may it seem like four hours. Yeah, it's, uh, it's about by the time you sleep and wake up. Okay. Yeah, so Thank you. It's a perfect. So yeah, so that is it, and. Um, Everyone, just take your time and look through it. Our family line is open. 
anyone who have, want, have a question or just want to talk about anything, especially if you're traveling on the Senegal and the Gambia tour. Uh, Bomana, this is Samuel. When we fly into uh, JFK, do we have a Pacific? Uh, do we go straight to the international or the part? Uh, the flight, uh, more than likely, um, and that's one thing we'll finalize before we even all you know, meet up, is uh, Terminal 4. Uh, that's uh, Delta Main uh, International Departure Terminal. Uh, and that's the best we can let you know for now. But the goal when we tell people to meet up with us, we have to all look at our ticket, and we, and we all have to be at the same uh, location as far as gate number. And that's where we meet up at. And then... What we do is we use the WhatsApp page to say, hey, this is a picture of me. I'm right here. I'm right over here. Things like that. And then we just all meet. So okay. Once do we meet? Do we meet? Yeah. You said it's, uh, four, right? That's at the International uh, Gateway, right? Yes. Uh, the goal is to go to four uh, as of this very moment. Uh, but we'll check and finalize to make sure that is. And then once you check into um, Delta Counter Terminal 4, they give you your actual final gate departure, and then we'll all have that same gate. Oh, okay. Okay. We're, okay. All, we're all checking and going to Senegal, and there's only one flight. And then once we get there, you can use the WhatsApp page to just you know, take a picture of yourself and say, hey, I'm here. And I'm trying to get us to use the WhatsApp more to do that because it's going to get more useful once you're actually there in Ghana. So that's the goal. Oh. Okay. All right. Thank you, sir. Oh, yes, uh, absolutely. All right, next person, family. Um, line is open for questions. Bomani, Susan, where can I get the book? The book, uh, the tour book has not been designed yet. Okay. Uh, as soon as we uh, design it, like a, about a week before we travel, um, you'll get a digital copy. Okay. And then it will be posted also in the WhatsApp group. So what the, the purpose of that is um, when you're traveling, you're going to need to get hotel address, maybe some phone numbers and a few things, and the, the, the tour guide name, his phone number. So all those things are going to have typed up in the book, and then when people use it, just to schedule. So that's my goal is to get it as early as 7 to 10 days. Okay. Thank you. Right, perfect. And then we're literally still trying to figure out if we should print the books or not, so... But the, the digital copy is definitely guaranteed. All right, so family, anyone else have any questions? Uh, Hello. Greetings, uh, go ahead. Hi, yes, this is Devin. Um, looking at the uh, the Tanzanian tour, however, I am interested in the others as well. Um, but my question is this, how long um, is the turnaround time to uh, get the visa, to apply for it and actually receive it back? Uh, all of the visas, uh, if, you, if I had to give an average frame uh, based on experience, um, seven to ten days. And uh, with Tanzania, since their visa is digital, you can get it early as 24 to 48 hours. And so that's uh, so the longest is going to be about two weeks. But I do recommend everyone apply for the visa at least two to three months before they travel. And then when you do apply for the visa, apply for multiple entry. Okay. Thank you. Okay, cool. Um, so you ready to go to Tanzania? Right, perfect. Uh, you want to <laughs> send your ready. email, I'll add you to the email list of just the the group that we're building, and then okay. we just you know, we can add you on WhatsApp. And as a matter of fact, anyone that's looking to travel, you know, just send an email. If I don't have your information, that way we can just talk and then add you to WhatsApp, and then we just go into preparation flow. Thank you're you. clear about everything and you're ready to go, so that sounds good. All right, perfect. So, family, um, all right, so everyone is muted uh, just to reduce feedback. Uh, so, for those who want to speak, just unmute yourself. All right, so let me see if anything else I can go over. Yeah, I'm scrolling through the newsletter and yeah, all the links are there. Uh, all the links, all the tours, all the information there. So hopefully no one feels shy about reading it. Line is open. The line is open. All right, and I'm going to do my best to try to add some more of the videos and photos. 
man, that's my goal for January, February, March. To share all of the final highlights and everything and get ready for Senegal and Gambia as we just document everything and that way I can have some fresh you know, documentation on there. Most of the journey is going to be standard to a point. I may change, adjust, and upgrade one or two things, but trying to get to the point where we can do a foundation journey. But the goal is if we want to spend more time to do business in Africa, get a different feel or have more time to relax, the best thing I'm, I will always recommend is to stay longer between the Senegal Airport, Ghana, and Tanzania, Dar es Salaam Airport. You can fly almost anywhere in Africa, those three countries alone. Uh, so um, planning out you know, a week in another country, I mean, I'm one of the people that's fine with you know, talking with you and plan, you know, helping you plan it out. You don't have to do the work, but you know, going through it with you and planning it out because I've helped a lot of people make those kind of moves. If you have the flexibility, enjoy it. But most of us are going to have those, you know, those, those 10 days off or those holiday period off before we have to get back to, you know, normal business. And those who retire may want to spend more time. So I'm going to try my best to put it out there. But, you know, it's up to individuals to communicate if you want to, things to work out. Because right now I have people in Ghana trying to change their time and, you know, and things like that. But I know it's kind of hard to work out. But putting it out there and the the conversation, the better we can work it out. That way, you know, by the time you change the ticket, the, the fare didn't go up like two, three, four hundred dollars. That can happen, unfortunately. So it has to be a situation where it's done right away. And then the, you know, the other option is once we finish the journey, you can always go to the airport and change the ticket, and you know, you may just don't feel like you don't want to go back to America or so on. Uh, so you know. That may be the situation, but nevertheless, family, the line is open, so so star six to unmute yourself and ask your question. And know that the tour book that we're going to work on will put as much information as possible for you, and definitely context, so you can use, you know, while you're moving around, if you need to communicate with us, you can just use that to get a tour guide and a few other people numbers to just reach out and see where you guys are. Or, but uh, it's a, my point to you, it's a flexible journey that's need everyone to communicate what they're looking to do and things like that. If you're looking to spend an extra few days in the Gambia, if you're looking to spend a few days more in Ghana, not, or go to Ghana or go to any of the other countries, all of those things are really just great options. And then once you travel, even if it's the first time, after moving with us, you get you know you 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 you'll get a you know nice flow of how things are, and then the game plans that we can work out really works good, you know like right now we have several people there in Ghana so. Uh, Bomani, this is Samuel again going on the uh, Senegal and Gambia trip. You say you can stay longer if you can't if if you if you got the time and the little cash over to do it. Yes, absolutely. You can always stay longer. The journey is just the journey we have. But you can stay or do it. Uh, Would it cost the airport? I mean, your plane ticket? Would yeah, you have to pay more or something like that? Yeah, more than like you may have to pay a little bit more. But uh, if you do it early enough, your ticket is a paid. In, your ticket is completed. Uh, so, but if it costs a little bit more, they'll just ask you for a card, and you could just upgrade. Oh, okay. Okay. But I, I wouldn't. <laughs> It's not something that I would know. It's something that we'd have to call in. Okay. Like you'd okay. have to call me, and then we just call it in. Yeah, I would like to, you know, if I get over there and things, you know, go right, I might just want to stay a little longer to check out stuff. If you decide at the last minute, why even drive going to the airport? You change it right there. It's what it is. Uh, but I've seen people do this as far back as that, and as like you know like a few months ahead of time. The earlier the better okay. because it's the less charge and it's easier for us to put those things in, in a group book. And, but nevertheless, if you really you know, just process it and then you guys give me a call and we'll talk about it. All right, sir. All right. Thank you. All right. Debbie, Sheila, you, you ladies journey with us. Greetings, Bomani. This is Sheila. How are you? How's everybody? Their yeah, greetings are doing well. Ready for another journey. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to try this again, Bomani. 
<laughs> I'm going to try this again. But I'm ready. All right. Uh, you're ready. So perfect. So you're clear on your plane ticket because I got a few people tickets and you're one of them. Yes, I am. All right. That's perfect. That will work. I already have my visa. So, you know. You know, let's make sure that your visa is a multiple entry visa that doesn't expire um, in, in, in March. Yeah, it's multiple. Entry. Yeah, because those of us who have gotten visas, say, example, we've gotten visa like January last year. And uh-huh. for, for example, December 2019, and then the visa say expired, you know, December 2020 or January 2020, they're out of luck. So, Mine um, is good for five years. Perfect. And that's why I want everybody to confirm. If you have a previous visa, if it's good for five years, or if it was only good for one year, because different people may have gotten caught into the, the new the new situation is five years, but the previous was one year. So perfect. Yeah. So hopefully everybody is clear that's on the call. So perfect. So both of you, I guess both of you are ready because it, it's coming up soon. Yes, we're ready. And, and, and then um, I just said the schedule, so it shows four days in Gambia, four days in Senegal, so... The, the, the yeah. part in the beginning part may may be a little different. Well, not maybe is a little different. The last, the first two days and the last two days. Well, I'm just thankful that we're we're leaving directly from Kennedy Airport in New York with a straight flight because that was really a concern going to France or Amsterdam. So I think that's wonderful. Uh, yes, uh, you know, just take advantage of the opportunity when you got it. So that saved us, that gave us an additional 12 hours there in the country. And based on the yes. flight sequence, it adds up to about 15 hours because we ended up leaving about three hours later. Okay, thank you. All right, absolutely. So uh, next person, uh, question, as we begin to close in the next few minutes. Last set of things is the uh, general terms and the preparation of the departure list. So those are, I mean, all of this stuff is important to read, but uh, definitely when everybody reads it, Departure and reminder list so you're fully prepared, and also the um, Jones terms, which includes cancellations and refund. That way, you're clear ahead of time. All right, line is open. Whoever line is open, can you give your name, where you're calling from, your, your question, and what tour you're journeying on? All right, so family, let's press star six to unmute yourself if you were trying to ask a question. Hello, Bo Money. How you doing? This is Saul uh, Leonard. Uh, doing well. Uh, can you repeat yourself? Repeat your name. This is uh, Leonard. Uh, this is my first time coming on the conference call. I was interested in the uh, Gambia uh, trip in uh, May, June, or the one later in the year. And I was calling to see were there any uh, seats available for the May, June trip to the Gambia. I mean, not to, uh, to Ghana, I mean to say. But, uh, yes, we do have space for Ghana. That's what I'm accepting deposits for all of these uh, journeys, uh, including uh, Ghana, May 24th to June 5th. Okay. Thank you so much. And I'll get in touch with you very soon. Yeah, if you can send me an email, I'm just saving your, trying to save your information. Okay. Thank you. And the number you're calling from, that's your number, your direct number, 614 number? Oh, yes, in Columbus, Ohio. All right, cool, perfect. I'm just saving your number. And I heard the first name, Leonard. What's the last name? Yes, Thomas. All right, perfect. Uh, Leonard, I got your information. I'll link with you. I would, uh, connect okay. Back. And then um, if you text me your email address, and I can send you out the details for that tour. Okay. Thank you. All right, you're welcome. And do you have any questions about the itinerary or anything that we do uh, there in uh, Ghana? Oh, uh, not right now, but I get in touch with real talk later. All right, excellent. All right, uh, good talking with you, and uh, you take care. Okay, you too as well. Thank you. All right, family, the line is open for those who have uh, questions in reference to our journey of a lifetime coming up this year for any of the four countries. All right, then uh, anyone else have a question? Send me a message on WhatsApp or send me an email and I'll reply back as soon as uh, possible. And that's the best I can do for you uh, as far as for anybody who have any questions in general. Those are the two best ways to ask a question. And then other than that is to just call me directly. 
Um, other than that, uh, everyone, you take care, and I'll be on standby if anyone needs to get in touch with me. Okay, have a good night. All right, uh, you take care.